Hello everyone. Meet Sara and her pet Fobo. One fine day, Sara was at her home. She was very bored as she had nothing to do. Suddenly, Fobo enters the room. He asks Sara what happened. She replies, "Fobo, I am bored sitting at home." Fobo tells her, "I have an idea. Let's go for a movie." Sara gets excited and she says, "Yeah, let's go for a movie." Fobo tells her, "There is a new movie playing at the Cineplex. Let's go and watch that movie." Sara is curious to know about the movie. She asks Fobo, "What's the movie's name?" Fobo tells her, "The movie's name is Adverbs to the Rescue." Sara and Fobo enters the movie hall. Adverb to the Rescue. Long, long ago, in the land of grammar, lived. verbs the verbs were very very sad they felt all alone they felt incomplete they were crying suddenly someone heard them and the ad man came for the rescue he said dear verbs I am going to bless you with words that are going to describe you further. You are never going to feel alone. I am giving you adverbs. Moved slowly. Plays every day. Flew inside. And the verbs lived happily ever after so students i hope you all enjoyed the short story adverbs to the rescue let's learn something more about adverbs adverbs are words that add meaning to the verbs adjectives or other adverb in a sentence they tell us about how when and where an action happened students do you know there are different types of adverbs too there are three types of adverbs now let's learn about each of them individually the first type of adverb is adverb of manner adverb of manner tell us how actions are done the word used for adverb of manners are happily loudly quietly kindly fast etc students please note we often add ly to the adjectives to change them into adverbs of manners for example slow slowly heavy heavily angry angrily careful carefully let's read few more sentences on adverb of manner the turtle moved slowly the word slowly is an adverb it tells us how the turtle moved the turtle moved slowly let's read another example The children played happily with their toys. The word happily is an adverb. It tells us how the children played. They played happily. They were happy while they were playing with their toys. So children, these sentences tells us how actions are done. Another type of adverb is adverb of time. Adverb of time 
tell us when actions are done. For example, today, never, yesterday, tomorrow, soon, later, early, often, daily, always, again, every day. So these are the words that tells us when an action took place. Let's read an example. Ram plays every day. When does Ram play? He plays every day. Now let's look at the second example. The results were announced yesterday. When was the result announced? Yesterday. So these sentences tells us when the action took place. Another type of adverb is adverb of place. Adverb of place tell us where actions are done. For example, outside, everywhere, upstairs, inside, up, down, here, above, away. Let's read few examples. The bird flew inside. Where did the bird fly? Inside. Let's read another example. In spring, flowers bloom everywhere. So students, I hope by now you know about adverbs. For a quick recapitulation, listen to the song. An adverb tells you more about a verb. Verb, verb. Adverbs tell us how, when and where the action takes place. The dog barks loudly. loudly. The adverb loudly, loudly tells us more about the verb barks. Ah. The adverb loudly tells us how the dog barks. The store opens early. early. The adverb early, early tells us more about the verb opens. Ah. The adverb early tells us when the store opens. The bus stops here. here. The adverb here. here. Tells us more about the verb stops. Ah. The adverb here tells us where the bus stops. An adverb tells you more about a verb. verb, verb. Till then, thank you, children. Bye bye. Take care. And most importantly, stay home and stay safe.